I'm sitting back here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm outside actually, and uh, I'm smoking uh, my pipe, my pipe tobacco. I have uh, three or four different kinds, you know. I haven't touched uh, a cigarette in over a week. I I've done that before. Uh, I stopped for a couple days or a week or so when I was uh, in a different place, and then I was uh, uh, contained. And I didn't have access to any of that. And it tortured me a little bit, but. You know, the, the tobacco uh, element of it, it is uh, something special about it. I even smoke once in a while when I drive. You know, but here it says that, you know, traditional tobacco is sometimes used directly for healing in traditional medicine. It may be burned in a fire or smoked in a pipe, yet, yet the smoke is generally not inhaled. Generally. In many teachings, the smoke from burned tobacco has a purpose of carrying thoughts and prayers to the spirit world or to the creator. You know, there is something very spiritual about it, but for me, it's it just a very, it's a relaxant, to put it mildly, right? Uh, I used to smoke Newports for over two decades, and it's a hit, like, a, it's a relaxant, but it's just, a, it's a very stimulant, you know? It's almost like, a, I don't want to say a mind-altering substance, but it does relieve me of a certain anxiety of feelings, but it, it, for lack of a better word, it's cheap. It's very cheap, you know. Uh, I mean, I live in the United States, and the the natives, there were different tribes, but they had uh, pipe tobacco, and they had rituals, you know. They would they had they would sit in their tents, and they would uh, smoke, and they would me either meditate or they would they would do a lot of other things. But you know, it is a, a spiritual element where you smoke and you're around people, and uh, maybe you'll converse or you'll uh, have a dialogue about certain things, or even be by yourself. You know, uh, people that came here and they took that, brought it back to Europe, you know, they, uh, for lack of a better word, de de degraded it. You know, they uh, they created, you know, something, uh, what, what most people smoke today, whether it's Marlboro's, Newport's, or Camel's, or whatever, and they put all these chemicals in it to get you addicted, and you can have one or two cigarettes, you don't even know, depending on how you stress, and you don't really enjoy it. I mean, you do, but... Uh, you don't enjoy it like uh, like you smoke it from the pipe. It says here, generally not in hell. Well, I mean, I get it. You know, uh, I just I just love the inhalation of, uh, of the tobacco. Not necessarily, and I don't know what contents of nicotine has, but the one I smoke, I don't feel like smoking a cigarette. It's not like I have a pull and I'm just like, you know, oh, first one of the day. When I wake up, I could go for half an hour to an hour and not smoke the pipe, sometimes even longer. And I don't even think about it. I have coffee and I'll have, you know, my tobacco with coffee, but it just doesn't feel right sometimes either. I'll drive and I smoke it by itself, you know. There's ways of uh, just uh, uh, breathing with the pipe to get the the right amount of smoke, you know. It does irk me and, and bother me that uh, certain cultures through history uh, took and not only took the land and lives of people, but took something, whether, you know, it... It could be defined as sacred or a form of spirituality, or part of a certain culture that you know certain people were willing, were willing to share, and they took it for themselves, and you know, and just disgustingly degraded it and disintegrated it. You know, as the uh, these thoughts came about, uh, maybe a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago. You know, it's really not that important, but this was what I really had an issue with that T-shirt, El Polaco with a K. And, you know, that's something I would say joking around as the Broski 79, El Polaco, Rui Caco, some ridiculous stuff. You know, uh, El Polaco, first of all, that should be a C, if you want to talk Espanol. You know, um, second of all, I don't know, uh, you know, uh, in, probably in Spain, they would, uh, uh, that size of t-shirt would be, you know, uh, custom, uh, uh, you know, uh, the size of it and stuff like that. But the people that I saw wear... I uh, just generally didn't respect uh, either the Spanish language or uh, a little plane flying around, a little guy who got to make noise. It's a inferiority complex. Anyway, you know, uh, they didn't respect uh, the hip hop culture in general because it is, uh, I believe, is distributed by uh, a guy in Linda, and the guy that I think has it is a rapper in Poland or something like that. It is a. Uh, 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 had heard or, or pushed for for the hip hop culture by Poland. There are a lot of uh, 
MCs and rappers in Poland that have a very intellectual music and it seems like, you know, they have a conscience. Whether you do or not, I, I really could care less. You know, I could care less. But this, I mean, I mean, and I, you know, the one guy, uh, you know, his name is Adrian. You know, he used to live in London. I think his dad had some business or something like that. I was, he always had those t-shirts and I try to talk to him about that. They could care less. They could care less. It's, you know, it's a, it's a little fashion trend. He has it on, and you know, people. Oh, he has that. It's like it's ridiculous, you know. That's not what makes a man. That's not what makes a culture. Uh, whether it's hip hop or you know, uh, your background, everything you stand for, you know. I don't even care about it anymore that much. I just think it's disgusting, ridiculous, you know. I wonder if the people that make that uh, care, uh, you know, have that on. Do you understand that it's spelled incorrectly? And do they even care about learning the Spanish language? You know, do they even know their own language? Uh, fluently, right, anyway, you know, it's just, it is a form of just taking something with their language, uh, you know, uh, making it for your own benefit without caring for it, you know, I could care less about those little t-shirts, uh, and what it stand for, I could care less, because, uh, I wasn't given respect by certain people, but, you know, what? Like that, I really had, really had a problem, I was very angry at Pipe Pipers a couple years ago, furious about that stuff, you know, I don't, I don't joke around with that stuff, and, you know, maybe I'm not, uh, traditionally from the Spanish culture, but I, I do respect their language and certain things from the Spanish culture, you know, that is really not cute to me, it's ridiculous, it's ridiculous, you know, if you want to do that in your little Polska, because you think you know stuff, uh, you know, you think you're that, uh, that worldly and stuff, do that over there, you know, uh, I don't care what happens in what t-shirts you sell, because a lot of people over there don't have any style whatsoever, no, no style in my opinion, and, you know, it's like, it's, maybe it's not the, the same thing as this, because this is more relevant and important to me, but it is a form of just taking something that doesn't you don't know anything about and just saying, you know, this is our music, Polish po Polish hip-hop, this and that. Yeah, yeah, it's a different uh, different style to it, different, you know, whatever. It's just that people violate uh, something, not just sacred, something decent that could be, you know, uh, used for great purpose that people enjoy to their own liking, you know. It's not about, you know, uh, white, black, uh, Latino versus Polish. It's just a lot of people just taking something they don't understand and then using it for something impractical. And they don't even, uh, they don't even get ahead in life with that. It's it just, you know, it's just a short uh, satisfaction of their, you know, uh, their ignorance and their lack of uh, understanding. Whether it be through clothes or through smoking.